Hello everyone, welcome to Radiology Case Review Series. In this video, we are going to look at imaging of a eight day old child who presented uh, to outside hospital with apneic episodes and failure to gain weight. Patient was transferred to our institution for further evaluation for potential sepsis. Patient underwent CT head examination, which was unremarkable. Subsequently, MRI brain examination was performed. Let's look at the, at the MRI images. So on the diffusion weighted imaging, we can clearly identify restricted diffusion in the perirolandic region along bilateral corona radiata, extending into basal ganglia regions, including the globus pallidus, thalamus, and in the brainstem, you can see restricted diffusion along the corticospinal tracts, along the dorsal aspect of the brainstem. You can also see marked restricted diffusion in the cerebellum with corresponding ADC signal in all these regions. On the proton density and T2 images which are on the right of the screen, you can clearly identify edema in these regions. There is also a suggestion of slightly diffuse edema in the white matter, although this can be challenging in the neonatal period. On the T1 axial images which are on the left, you can see small amount of subdural hemorrhage along the posterior convexities and the tentorium, which is not an uncommon finding in normal vaginal delivery. So we have a child with abnormal breathing and failure to gain weight with restricted diffusion, which is confined predominantly to the myelinated regions of the brain. During further evaluation, the blood level showed increased level of leucine and also urine was positive for ketones. Constellation of imaging and laboratory findings are consistent with maple syrup urine disease. Uh, I found this article in the literature where they assess the imaging appearances of maple syrup urine disease. So there are multiple types of maple syrup urine disease. Patients are usually normal at birth, but symptoms suggestive of metabolic acidosis usually manifest around first week of life, just as in our patient. At least based on this paper, they found that the DWA sequences but the best sequence for evaluation of maple syrup urine disease. And they noticed that there is diffuse cerebral edema as we saw in our child with localized intense edema, which are called as MSUD edemas, which are classically seen in the cerebellar white matter, brainstem, globus pallidus, internal capsule and thalamus, basically in the myelinated portions of the normal full-term infant, just like what we saw in our patient with restricted diffusion involving all the myelinated regions. The differential diagnosis is pretty narrow. Other things to consider would be non-ketotic hyperglycemia and Kahneman's disease. Based on the imaging appearances and the laboratory investigations, we can diagnose maple syrup urine disease, particularly in the setting of restricted diffusion in the myelinated regions with elevated amino acids in the blood. I hope you found this video to be Useful, thanks for your attention.